All right. In this video, we study the principle of maximum entropy and see that the probability or discrete probability distribution that maximizes its entropy is a uniform distribution. Okay, let's start. Okay, first consider a random variable that takes a value from some n values. So x1, x2, and so on, up to xn. And the probability is given by this. The, uh, the random variable x takes the value of xi is given by pi. Okay, so at such, of course, this is a probability distribution. It must be normalized. So i from 1 to n, pi, if we sum over this, it should add up to 1. When a probability distribution is given, the entropy is entropy of the distribution is given by this. So S, usually we use S for entropy, uh, is defined by negative of sum of uh, these pi log pi. Uh, in information theory, we use usually uh, base 2 for this logarithm, but uh, for this, uh, it can be just any, any base, okay? because it's just a matter of uh, uh, f uh, constant factor, so it doesn't matter. And we use log e, that means natural logarithm. Okay, so this entropy S, entropy, is a function of these p's, right? So it's a function of p1, p2, and so on, up to pn. Okay, so it's an n variable function. Now, we want to maximize this quantity uh, to find what kind of probability distribution this uh, pi can be. And for that, we need to satisfy this constraint. But otherwise, there are no other constraints. Okay? So to do that, we use uh, the method of Lagrange multipliers. Okay, so uh, let's define the Lagrangian function. So first, we put entropy, uh, pi log pi. And the Lagrange multiplier, let's say alpha, and the sum of uh, these probabilities uh, is equal to 1. So let's subtract 1. And uh, OK, so this is the Lagrangian. And we want to maximize this with respect to pi's. So let's differentiate uh, this Lagrangian with respect to one of the pi's. Okay. So this pi is uh, just one of these, so just uh, differentiate this factor, uh, this term, and uh, we get uh, log pi, negative log pi, and minus pi and 1 over pi. And for, from this one, we get just uh, alpha. Okay, so we can f cancel this, and we get negative log pi minus 1 minus alpha. And at the maximum point, this should be equal to 0. By solving this for pi, we get, uh, what do we get? pi should be equal to uh, exponential of negative 1 minus alpha. OK, now look at this uh, term. It doesn't depend on i, so that means it's a constant. So, and uh, if we go back to this constraint, okay, so if we add them, that is just uh, n times this factor, right? This is equal to 1. So that means this is equal to 1 over n, right? So if we divide this thing, both sides by n, we get this result. That means it's a uniform distribution. Okay. Well, from this condition, uh, the first derivative being equal to 0, we can only say that this point is just a stationary point, either local maximum or local minimum. So which one is it? It should be maximum, but uh, how can we be sure? For that, we differentiate this entropy uh, twice. So we, if we differentiate once we get this term, right? So if we differentiate, so we get this term, and if we differentiate entropy twice, 
So we get Hessian. Okay, so that should be, so if we differentiate this, we get negative 1 over pi. If i is equal to j, okay, and otherwise it's 0. So we multiply this by Kronecker's delta. So that means uh, 1 over pi if i is equal to j, otherwise it's 0. Okay, so that means this Hessian matrix is a diagonal matrix with its diagonal elements always negative. That means this matrix is negative definite. For that case, uh, the stationary point must be a maximum. So it's a concave uh, function. Therefore, we, uh, we are now sure that uh, this uniform distribution gives the maximum entropy. Okay, that's it. See you later.